Hey guys, Stefano here. Today, we are going to be checking out who would win Tarantula versus Scorpion. And by Jerry, by Jerry Pallada and published by Scholastic. And I'm not going to be reading the whole book to you. I'm just going to be walking you through it because the video will be long. Now, guys, like um, like I told you in the whale versus giant squid, in the lion versus tiger, if you don't want to know like um who wins the battle, you can turn off the video and go buy this book, and then read on your own and, and see who wins the battle. And if you do want to know who wins the battle, you can, and keep watching the video. All right, let's get in. So, like before, they're going to give you all sorts of background information. Greeting you to, like, um, the tarantula and the scorpion, the scientific name. Tarantula and the scientific name of the scorpion. However, I'm not going to read that to you. Because, like, the video will be long. Talking about how they burrow in their territories and their and where they live. Talking about the anemones, he's he's and oh my gosh, like the tarantula was the. Tarantulas and scorpions both have eight legs. The scorpion has has eyes, but the tarantula has eight. Talking about the weapons, those fangs, and the scorpion weapons. The tarantula cousins in the tarantula family. What these guys eat. And did you guys know that um, some scorpions can live one year without eating? Yeah, talking about how they molt. Yeah, like tarantulas molt. Tasty, how we eat tarantulas. Why would you eat a tarantula? And how we eat um scorpions. Read those facts, guys, and build up your evidence. Talking about how you can dream this right here and imagine that right here. And how the tarantula and um the scorpion were 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 used in like um in like a football and baseball. Yeah. Talking about the babies And they're adding, like, a little bit of humor here. Yeah. So, yeah, guys. So, we are now diving right into the battle. So, this would be a good time to turn off the video if you don't want to know who wins. If you do want to know who wins, you can keep watching the video. I'm going to read these last two pages to you. The tarantula is climbing a tree. The tips of the tur the tips of its legs... Are like little needles. It has no trouble climbing. There's that tarantula right there. The scorpion is the scorpion as usual is hide is hidden under a rock. It doesn't want to bother 
or anyone is waiting for some food to walk by. There's our scorpion. Soon it is dusk. The scorpion takes a peek outside. The scorpion gets a surprise. The tarantula jumps on top of it. Normally, the tarantula would um, use its legs and pulps to pin down an insect and jab it with its mouth fangs. But the scorpion fights back. The tarantula does not like the snapping scorpion claws. The tarantula scrambles and escapes. The scorpion uses its claws and tail to fight. It backs off. Then it runs right at the tarantula. It grabs the tarantula's pulps with its claws. Then jabs one of its legs. The scorpion shoots venom into, tarant into the tarantula's leg. The tarantula is bigger than the scorpion, but now one of its legs is numb. The tarantula uh, flips the scorpion over, but the scorpion is right back up, get, gets right back up and jabs in her leg. While the tarantula wonders what's wrong with its leg, the scorpion jabs it in the body. The poison starts working, and the tarantula uh, um, eventually stops moving. The scorpion will eat the tarantula. So, the winner is the scorpion. So, they're going to give you a little checklist at the end to see who has the advantage. And, um, yeah. And it's the Arthur's nose is going to tell you how the fight may have ended. And Teacher Talks tells people to tape these last two pages together and build up their evidence. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Peace out.